What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I am talking about Microsoft Flow, and I'll talk about my flows, team flows, and business process flows. What all these are so that you understand what you're seeing in Microsoft Flow. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Microsoft Flow here, and as you can see, under the My Flow section on the left, I've got these three tabs. We've got My Flows, we've got Team Flows, and we've got Business Process Flows. So what is My Flows? My Flows are any flows that I create. So if I come in here and I click on New, and I click on Instant from Blank, that's going to create a Microsoft Flow that I can see in this list here. And that's what my flows are. So these are flows that you've created that you own by yourself and you can see them in here. Now, what are team flows? Team flows are flows that you may have created or someone else may have created, but is shared with one or more owners. So for instance, if you are working with a colleague and you can't figure something out and you need their help on it, you could always share the flow with them, give them the ownership rights to go in and um, edit it or update it, and then they can do that. But then all your flows appear in here instead. So if it's got a, another owner, it will appear in here. It won't appear in the My Flows section anymore. It'll just appear in here. Um, so it's kind of like a, a team owns the flow, um, even though it's like multiple individuals. So what are business process flows? So if you come from the Dynamics 365 CE or CRM space, a business process flow is a sort of um, a process that you have. So you can have a, a process that goes along the top of a record. Um, so most people use this for things like qualifying, opportunity, qualifying leads into opportunities or opportunity management or maybe case management where you want to capture pieces of information as you go along um, and make, make those sort of required or not required at each stage to make sure that all the information is being captured by the people putting it in. Um, let's take a look at um, one of these. So we'll just open up this. Um, so at the moment, you can only have a business process flow inside, um, inside Dynamics um, with the uh, bar that goes across um, on another record. But there, there is a, a new type of business process flow coming out called an immersive business process flow. And this will actually allow you to do this independent of a record. Um, so you don't need to have another record there. So this is the business process flow editor. And as you can kind of see, we've got these various stages. And at each one of these stages, we don't want to capture different pieces of information. We can do conditions and then skip stages as it shows here. We can also trigger other Microsoft flows from here. So this is a business process flow and this will appear above a, another record inside Dynamics. So business process flow is independent of the record that you're looking at, um, but it will kind of appear across the top and you can fill in different pieces of information. I'll go into business process flows in a lot more detail in another uh, video. It's just to kind of give you an idea of what these three types of flows are. As always, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time.